Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to a new tutorial. Today we will learn how to make our enemy move at a constant speed uh, forwards, which is backwards for us, because the z-axis is facing towards the right side of the map right now. So we want our enemy to move backwards. Uh, so let's get right into it by making a enemy uh, movement script. Let's press create and hit C sharp script. Name it enemy movement and then double click on it. All right, we should see the screen. Uh, let's already make a speed variable because we will need that. So, a private speed, no, a private float and then speed. And let's give it like five for now. We'll see later if it's good. Um, so in the updates methods, because we wanted to move forward um, every frame and not only when we start the game. So in the updates methods, we will do transform dot translate, and then we will say vector three dot back. And as you can see, uh, it says shorthand for writing vector 3 0 0 minus 1 so this means it will move backwards on the z-axis so that's exactly what we want let's multiply it by the speed so by 5 and let's multiply that by time dot delta time because we don't want to forget that otherwise the enemy will move different uh, will move differently on uh, different computers and that's also not a good thing to have in your game so let's test it. Also, don't forget to take your script and slide it onto the enemy. So make sure it's on there. Uh, yeah, it's actually on here twice, which is my bad, because I, I tested it first before making the video. So normally it should work now. Let's play test. And as we can see, the, player, uh, the enemy moves at a constant speed towards the player. And we can we can drag him back. So that's exactly what we want. Maybe we can turn up the speed because this would be a little bit too easy for the player. So let's go back in our empty movements uh, script, uh, enemy movement script. Sorry, and let's like say down or something. That should be fine. Let's see. Yeah, that's exactly fine. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you tomorrow in the next tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button, and also like if you like the video. Bye guys.